Hey, this is Anki Right So. I normally do game and work videos for like Kino Arts and things like that, but as I've said before on my blog that I wasn't be I probably wouldn't be able to do anything until I got rid of this project. And I've still got it during my week off, unfortunately. Boo hoo. So I might as well just show you what I'm actually doing for anybody who's interested in 3D. And uh, it's just a simple little tutorial. It's just creating water running from a tap. Well, I made the tap from my city, my, my designer city brief. And all I've done to sort of extend it is making the water run from it. And it's a quite a simple tutorial to do. So without further ado, I will show you how I did it. So go into Cinema 4D, any Cinema 4D that you have. I've got R13, so it should work for pretty much every single Cinema 4D there is. And to start off, you need to go to Simulate Particles Emitter and rotate the emitter 90 degrees this way. There we go. And from there, create a sphere with the radius at 10. This be pretty small. And Put the sphere as a child in the emitter and under the emitter go to particle check the show objects and change the birth rate to i might as well change it back to the thing that i was doing before which was 50 for both for the birth rate editor and the birth rate renderer so when you play it you should really come up with something like this don't worry, this isn't what I was, this isn't the final product because that would be really shit water to be quite honest. So, what I've had to do after that, I did, I went under the little sort of blocks here, or I went under the metal ball. And I add the emitter to the metal ball, and under the metal ball object, under metal ball, when you clicked on it, go to object and this is what you need, the editor subdivision, and change it from 40 to 5, or anything lower than that, it's really up to you, but I choose 5 because it's, keeps, it sort of keeps its firmness, but it also softens the, the look of it. So, under, after that, it should like sort of run, but that still doesn't look right. So, what you had to do that, what I had to do then, was go back into simulate, and go to the particles and to gravity. There we go. And it flows absolutely brilliantly, as I do say myself. So the gravity, basically the reason for the gravity is to make the water, make it to actually flow like water. So when I rotate these, when I rotate the metal ball and the objects in the, inside the metal ball, when I rotate it downwards, like you should do from a tap, it will flow really nicely. Which, if I lift this up, come on, there we go. Give it a minute, it's trying to keep up with me. There we go. Still, we can't really see the full sort of finished product, so what I do, go under Window to Content Browser. And you should have a folder in this content browser as it already came in Cinema 4D. It will be under the type under the folder visualize and then go to materials. And under the materials there should be a folder that says liquid. So when you click on liquid, you've got all these little liquid materials, possibly for everything that you could probably want. From motor oil to milk, coffee, orange juice, you know, stuff. And red wine and things like that but we don't need that sort of thing we don't want red wine water or anything so we just want liquid and water calm or it depends on what sort of water you want if you want it to be rough like a waterfall my best the best suggestion i could give to you would be that one on the far end where water turbulent it gives it a very good rough a rough look like how a waterfall should look but I'm not using it for a waterfall, I'm using it for a tap for my uh, city waterfall. So, oops, there we go. 
double click onto the material and it, will sh it should appear onto your little tab down here and click out of that. Click out of that. And just drag the material, oops, there we go, drag the material onto the metal ball object. So when you render it off, here, when you render it off, when it actually has time to render off, it should flow, it should flow like it's supposed to with the water. And I found it pretty easy to learn something like this because I've looked on so many tutorials about water. I've got water that flows, that sort of waves like it should do if it's in an object, it's, if it's like in a bowl or something and you've got ripples. I can learn, I've, I've learned that for my city, but I also need it to run. So I found this tutorial and I'm pretty pretty quick at learning, so I thought showing it to you guys. Uh, I don't know why this rendering is taking so long. So I might just save, I just might render it off as an image. Unfortunately, it looks quite metallic. I don't know why. It might be the transparency. If I take down the transparency, it might look less metallic. But, as you can see, it flows quite nicely down here. So what I might do while I'm sort of nattering on, I might change the uh, material. I might change the material edit on the material. So, let's have a look. I might change the transparency just a tiny bit more down, because not supposed to look like that. At least, oops, that's too transparent. Wait, yeah, that's not that's that's not transparent. I'm not even on transparency, am I? No, I am. Right, that's the brightness. So. I'll stick it at 70 and see what happens. If it's still not done what I want it to do, then <sighs> then I'll have to do it again. Which is not fun. Not fun at all. Especially if you've got so much work to get finished by the end of this week. To be quite honest, I don't think people will focus much on my water when it comes to my work. So anyway, I've showed it. What the, how to create water. You have a metal ball, an, an emitter, and one sphere can cr 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 there, there, there. can create loads of spheres and make it look like water flow like this. So what did I did after that? Of course, I added it to my tap. Oh, now you render. Right, I don't want you now though. Right, so I rendered it. I brought in my brass tap from my cityscape and I made sure it, oh, oh yeah, you can see it's sort of a little bit running, but yeah, I made a brass tap and then all I did was stick the emitter under the lip of the tap to make it look like it's supposed to be gushing out of it and when I rendered it off I thought it looked really good. So. I'll be using that for my next project. I might, I might if my rendering, if my laptop does not crash by the end of this, that I will render, I will render off a walkthrough for my city so you can see, so you guys can see what sort of stuff I have been doing, what I've been wasting my time on instead of my game walkthroughs. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment. I'm open for comments to be quite honest. If you say it's shit, I'll take it on board because I've never done one of these before. So I'll see you guys later.